Greetings and welcome again to another Curator's Chat here at Behringer Crawford Museum. Today I'm coming to you from the newly rearranged art storage collection on the fourth floor collections. And while we were doing this, I got thinking about one of our favorite artists here at Behringer Crawford, a man named Wolfgang Richel. And we love him so much because he loved us. And he was also an amazing artist. Wolfgang paints these wonderful, vibrant, beautiful paintings that he had to train himself to paint with these colors. And, you know, he was this amazing artist who, while he was a living, loved uh, being here at Barringer Crawford. And when he passed away, he donated much of his art to us and the art that's local we're keeping in our permanent collection but he also donated art to us so that we could auction it off and it would benefit the museum in perpetuity um, upon his passing so here are some of my favorite paintings but the one that i i wanted to show and talk to you a little bit about today is this one i love this one i love the use of color and light and shadow this is his painting of old Kentucky State Route 27. And as I said, he had to train himself to paint this way because Wolfgang wasn't just a painter. Uh, he wasn't just an artist, but he was also an educator and a scientist. And he had been involved in research for years about how the eye perceives color. And not just how the eye perceives color, but the eye perceiving color at high altitudes and thin air in the high Andes or on the top of mountains in, in uh, you know, the Rockies and places where you're really high up. And not also, you know, not just how the eye perceives color in thin air and in the high altitudes, but also if you were on medication, say you were just on your blood pressure pills or, or you had stubbed your toe and you needed a, a Tylenol, he was trying to understand how those medications change the way that we see color in high altitudes. And that was a life's mission of his. And what he did is he realized that colors were more vibrant, they were brighter and things. So when he came back and he was in lower altitudes, he taught himself to paint the way that he saw things in the high altitudes. And that's why we have these great colors in his paintings. That's also, you know, one of the reasons I love his work because I'm colorblind and the bright colors really appeal to me. Uh, so Wolfgang is, is one of my favorite paint, painters that we have here in our collection. And, and Ritual, he was just such an amazing man. As you know, we've, we've talked about him a little bit in the past and we've talked about our art collection, Beringer Crawford, loves art. We have a great deal of art for a museum our size, and we enjoy having exhibits that feature our, our art collections and local artists. And we're actually going to have an exhibit opening up in uh, a week and a half or so that is dealing with not painters or, or artists like Wolfgang Ritchel was, but artists that are bead artists. So we invite you to come and see our new exhibit. It will be called From Rituals to Runways, The Art of the Bead. And we are excited to have that. We hope to see you here soon. And if you like our videos, feel free to subscribe on YouTube, like it and subscribe. We'll talk to you later. Bye.